Good evening and welcome to the Phil Waybright Gymnasium. I am Phil Dean and I am here with uh, uh, Amy Stone. Good evening. And we are bringing you for the first time this year uh, live action of the Lady Dragons uh, volleyball. Um, with the whole COVID-19 thing going on, it's kind of been up and up in the air. We haven't really got to see a volleyball game yet, so no. with, we're uh, happy to bring Cast and uh, Comets in with that Argus Dragons. Oh, side. that's right, Cast Lady Dragons also versus the Cast and Comets. Yeah, um, we do have uh, Steve Stricker at home. He's our our production manager, tech <laughs> tech person, tech person tonight. Um, so he'll be popping in periodically to to uh, make sure that everything's running smoothly. Um, now this is Amy and I's first volleyball. I did do a couple of volleyball games last year, but I also had, uh, um, yeah, Zach Schaefer with me. And he, being as his wife was the varsity coach, I'm sure she he had quite the knowledge of. <laughs> so we are used to soccer where they do the national anthem. And I believe that they are lining up to do the national anthem. So we will be standing for the national anthem. I heard them play it earlier. After a little technical difficulty there, couldn't get the phone to connect. They all just came together and we sang the national anthem. So, and, and I know that, uh, um, you know, as I was sitting here and singing it, for those of you that have been in our gymnasium, typically we do not have the best sounding sound system. They worked on it, and they got a new digital thing. However, though, it, it did, uh, with them singing it the way that they sung it, it almost sounded like one of those uh, uh, Catholic ca cathedrals. Yeah. With, with the echo in and out. I mean, it really sounded <clears throat> cool. Mm hmm. That's cool. So I don't know. With soccer, they do they, not, they, they, they start the game something. and then they announce the kids. Yeah, that no, are they, they announced. I, now I've been to one volleyball game this year. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's reading something. I think he's reading the whole IHSAA COVID thing. Uh, I've got a list of the girls. We'll try our very best to get their names. Um, of course, the Argus girls all know, but we'll uh, work on the cat and we'll get the cast and ones announced too. If we don't get it right at the starting lineups, we apologize. I say I recognize two, maybe three. And that's going to be Sierra. I don't know her last name. You know, McKenna Lineberry. McKenna Lineberry. Of Sierra Schnitt. And then, um, and then Caitlin DeWolf. Yeah. Those, uh, after that? Uh. Okay, so <laughs> he's reading, he's reading something. 
And we got number one, Bailey Harness. Number four, Macy Henderleiter. Number five, Maddie Smith. Number six, Abby Williamson. Number seven, Addison Zimpleman. Number eight, Kinsey <laughs> Mollenkopf. Number nine, Isabel Scales. Number 10, Annie Harsh. Number 12, Rebecca Milburn. Number 15, Lainey Oliver. And number 24, Delaney Lowry. Okay, so it looks like they just announced all of them. Okay. I believe. Oh, no, they didn't do this for the... They didn't do this last year. And we got number two, Erilyn Fair. Number three, Avery Ness. Number four, Lillian Petz. Number five, Ad Adriana Engel. Number seven, Samantha Rose. Number nine, Samantha Ferguson. Number 11, Allison Grothaus. Number 12, Katie Hoffman. Number 13, Caitlin DeWolf. Number 15, McKenna Limeberry. Number 21, Sierra Schnitz. I also do know I, that I would not want to be the two young ladies that are at the corners. No. <laughs> so no handshaking between teams. Um, that's kind of a norm right now. In soccer, they kind of clap for each other, and, and they just both teams said good luck and waved at each other. And Okay. Bolero, right? We do not have a bolero. They have a bolero. The girl in the different colored shirt. Is that what it's called? I think so. <laughs> Bear with Phil and I's lack of soccer no or volleyball knowledge. Basketball, soccer, I can do. Phil's got basketball and softball. And and you've learned soccer through the years. I've learned soccer through the years. Thank goodness we don't do football because I would have no clue on that one either. You know it's a really bad play when I get upset at a soccer call. <laughs> <laughs> that ref's really wrong. Libero, that's what it is. Libero. Libero. Yeah. I said it backwards. I apologize. That stupid lady doesn't know what she's talking about. No, I don't. You're right. Good volume back and forth. Yeah. And it sounds like both teams are talking to each other. Oh, almost had it. Had a, had a block attempt there. And I do know that this sport can be uh, uh, vicious or, or full contact. Yeah. Um, especially when they go up for the spike and then the person blocking. Four. Yeah, that's four? what I thought. Okay. I wondered why. When she hit that, I, um, it's changed so much since I played. I played my freshman year and that was it, but we didn't have um, the libero or we had to actually serve to get points and you couldn't hit the net. I mean, it's just changed a lot. Yes. So it was kind of, this is my second game this year I've seen. Kind of fun and interesting to see. And a lot of it, I think it was to speed the matches up. Oh, yeah. Because if you're playing a best of five and, mm. and you had to serve. And we only did best of three. Nice catch by a fan. <laughs> I keep saying, I keep thinking to myself, as the, as the ball goes into the into the crowd, it, it's yours to keep. Yeah. Oh, wait, wrong sport. <laughs> yeah, not baseball. <laughs> not even soccer or basketball. Kind of need that ball to continue play. Oh, 
Oh, good block. She must be left-handed. Oh. It was good back and forth action mm -hmm. on that one. By chance, do you happen to know what uh, Cassin's record is? Or what? That's funny you said that. I was just looking that up. I got to get off of soccer and over to volleyball. Oh, oh I pushed a little too far. Girls. We'll check out Max Preps and see if they follow that. I know that Argus has a, a whole new coaching staff this year. As the, uh, the previous left. coach um, is starting their own family, and thought it'd be oh. too much too much trouble to to start a family and and to uh, coach volleyball. I at the could same see time. that. Ours says one in four match in progress versus Caston. Caston looks like they're five and twelve. And I know we've been off for a couple of weeks. Yeah, uh, we've not. Last week was their first week back. Yeah. Um, they play Lewis Cass, Pioneer, Carroll, Culver, North Miami, Eastbrook. Huh, looks like our soccer schedule. <laughs> <laughs> now I'd imagine they're probably in the same uh, the same conferences, uh, the, the newly formed conference this year. Caston? No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, Argus is uh, going to be playing a lot of the same, same teams as uh, probably. Uh, the we probably, we probably basketball need to find out more about that. That'd uh, probably be good for us. Elkhart Christian, Bethany Christian, uh, Lakeland Christian. OD was supposed to be in it. And I don't know if they pulled out or. They did. They, they didn't even make it last year. They decided. Uh oh. I know I'm missing a school. Which one is it? Academy. Career Academy, that's right. No, no, no. The Academy. The Academy's in the soccer one. The soccer one. Oh, and the new one? I don't know who's in the new one. Yeah, it's uh, Elkhart Christian, Bethany Christian, um, Lakeland Christian, South Bend Career Academy, us. And I thought it was supposed to be Oregon Davis. It was, but they're not. I don't know if they found someone else or. I don't know. It was basically all schools that didn't have football teams. Yeah. Right now it is 10 nothing Caston. Argus is on the board. Woohoo! Like I said, when I played, you had to serve to get on the board, so that's <laughs> awesome. That <laughs> doesn't matter who serves. McKenna Lineberry just come into the game. Would have been four hits. Four touches, I don't know what they call that. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't, that part I don't know. Alrighty then. The officials are having a 
conference, sidebar conference. I'm glad to see, though, that they did, uh, uh, the, the state themselves decided to change, change their minds to make not, to not make the athletes wear the masks while they're playing. Yes. Volleyball probably, I'm not lessening volleyball, it wouldn't be as bad as maybe, you know, your football or your, you know, something where you're running and. A lot. Yeah, because that would have been. See, now I'd have thought that one had gone out. Yeah. Nice job by Lamberry there. Oh, see. Uh, nice job by Sierra there. Oh, good job. They finally got it. And who is number 12 again? Uh, is, is that Katie Hoffman? I think that yeah, is. Yeah, Katie Hoffman, senior Katie Hoffman. I kind of wanted to see Caston. They've got. Uh, Argus is on a run here. They, yeah, Caston, they don't have any seniors in right at the moment. They have a couple seniors. The rest are freshmen and sophomores. They've got a couple juniors. Also a very young team then. Yeah, so good for them. That's the way to take one to the back of the head. <laughs> yeah. I would have done better. I could never get the ball over the net. I always hit the net. But now you can hit the net. That's kind of a little strategy now, just, like, just to drop it. Oh, when you're serving? Yeah, you can hit the net, and it can just drop on the other side. Well, and as we're watching some of those, some of the, you know, the girls warm up in that, you know, they're throwing the ball up in the air and then running up and jumping up in the air and, mm -hmm. and then hitting it. And I'm sitting there going, I'm not 100% sure my timing would be. No, they're more coordinated than we are, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> they're younger than we are. Even when I was that age, I don't know if I'd have been able to do that. <laughs> So we're here tonight. We'll be back in action Saturday with boys soccer. Number 15 for Casson just went in. She's a senior. I don't have all that, let's see, Laney Oliver. Um, boys varsity plays Andrean Saturday at 12.30 at Eugene Snyder Field. So we'll be bringing you that action. Next Thursday, I believe is volleyball senior night against Culver. We'll be back up here and fill what we brought gymnasium for that. And then Saturday, uh, boys play Bethany Christian for their senior night. Now, if any of the soccer players are wondering, well, hey, there's actually a home game this Thursday against Oregon Davis. Um, we're not going to broadcast that one live. I do believe we're, we're with uh, the broadcasting going to a club status. Um, we're gonna use that game to Hopefully train new new camera people, new Practice with some people. newbies. Um, I might even let them talk on the. Do some talking. <laughs> um, that may not last, but, but we'll let them try. We thought that would be a good game for, for us to, uh, to do some teaching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the girls play, I think, 5.30. Um, JV pl our JV plays their varsity, I think, is what it was. And then the boys' games after that, so. It may be up online after. If not, it'll be recorded, and we'll use it as a teaching tool. Well, I believe, you know, if, if we get it downloaded, it will end up being on the uh, uh, number three and number eight just came in for Argus. 
Number three is Avery Nest, and number eight is Samantha Ferguson. Like I said, I know three of the girls on the team, the rest of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Samantha likes to read, so I see oh. her in the library. <laughs> Always in the library. Yep. Just got a little too much. We got mustard here in volleyball, yeah, too. Yes. A little too much mustard on that one. Now, the one thing I don't remember, is the game at 21 or is it 25? 25. 25. 25, yeah. Lily Pett's coming back into the game for the Dragons. And uh, if you sub for one girl, that's the girl you have to sub for. So I don't know. In my mind, I'm trying to picture how basketball is going to go. As far as players? Just as far as the whole semantics of if the regulations are still, you know. Oh, nice job, Lily Pets. Oh, it was a good try. Mm -hmm. Good try. Well, they got the layout. The layout's different this year than what uh, um, last year. The, the fans were all on this side. Okay. And the teams were on that side in chairs. Now this year they got the, uh, well they still have the chairs out. But the fans well they got the chairs the out and they have them spread their three to six feet apart. The, the players do wear their masks when they're sitting and they're out of the game. Aston has Bailey Harness back into the game. And we've got Laney Oliver serving. Oh, just oh, outside. So close. Just, just a, a little outside. <laughs> <laughs> Sinking Major League, just a bit outside. Ball four. And this should be game point. Mm-hmm. Argus player ran over the other Argus player. And we got a, no, our commercials, will, those are five minutes long. Yeah, we don't want to do that. <laughs> we do have a three minute break in between. Um, can you stop it after? You can stop it in between if you like. Kay. We're gonna go ahead and take a few commercials here. And we will see you in a few minutes. First Federal Savings Bank has offered mortgage loans for over 50 years. Now we're also offering commercial lending. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer loans for commercial real estate, equipment, and business lines of credit. Call any one of our branch locations to see if we can help. You're not just a number at First Federal Savings Bank, you're part of our family. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in need of trash removal at an exceptional price? Let Mike's Trash Removal Service be your go-to for all your trash removal needs. Mike's Trash Removal covers several different services of waste removal, including residential and commercial area services. Locally owned and locally operated, call today to see what Mike's Trash Removal can do for you at 574-223-6429. Inyard's True Value has everything you need to get your next project done. 
located on Main Street in Rochester, Inyard's True Value has the product to get the job done. From tools and supplies to kitchen appliances, Inyard's True Value has got you covered. Call 574-223-4920 or visit www.truevaluecompany.com. And we're back. The uh, Argus Dragons uh, lost that one to the Lady Comets from Caston, 25 to seven. We have a minute left to go and uh, they will be switching sides of the court. They just did in not. case there's- They did not do that last time. They did not? No, they oh, stayed on the same like side. Looks like they're not doing it again this yeah, time I think, too. Uh, I think they normally do. I think with the COVID they did not. Okay. So, um, yeah. Then there's that. <laughs> it looks like I'm getting a visitor. You might have to talk for a minute. Okay. While I talk. <laughs> and the libero came in for Caston. Caitlin DeWolf serves it over. Nice block there by Sierra, and it looks like McKenna Linder. and has another player change. Unfortunately, I don't have the names here. Amy has those on her phone. And both Cass and Ann Argus is having another player change. Okay, Argus got that score. I was a little confused there. Uh, Argus ended up scoring that one from a uh, four hit from Caston. And that is three in a row. I have a feeling they're gonna have some uh, serving practice tomorrow. Sierra thought that one there was going to go out, so she called her player off, and it ended up one hitting her hand and two just, just hitting on the inside of the court there.
Argus had the early lead, but Kasten has come back and taken that away from them, and Argus has now called for a timeout. All right, and that time they communicated ahead of time, was able to uh, watch that ball go long. Okay, we've had a couple of few player changes here. Okay, they call Kasson for into the net on that one. Little miscommunication there and between uh, number five and number 12 of Casper. Point goes to Argus and they've tied up the game here. And have retaken the lead. taking the lead and has forced Kasten into a timeout. So they are very excited about that.
Samantha's gonna serve another one. I think this is like six in a row for her. Last, of, last couple of them, like Amy likes to say, they've been putting a little too much mustard on that ball. Need a little more communication there. Number nine didn't hear anybody and just stuck an arm out, just try to save the shot that she could. And Argus comes right back and takes the ball back. off the hands of Argus there and Cast is starting to score again. Oh. Seems like every time Casson tries to get a in this game anyways, anytime Kasson tries to get a, a point or two, Argus just comes right back and takes the ball away from him again. Each team's got some player changes here. block. Nice block from Sierra. Put it right back down into Casson's area.
two in a row, right straight to Sierra and off of her arms and towards the, the back of the court. Get in front of it. Oh, Caitlin DeWolf tried to put it over and they blocked it and got her on the backside. She couldn't reach back far enough to get that. And Kasten scored another one. Slowly chipping away at the lead there. that we have a tie ball game. And Argus has called for another timeout. Back row wasn't talking to each other, just kind of turned and stared at each other, wanting to know who's going to get what. <laughs> Okay, I had to ask real quick on what that last one was for. Uh, and the referees are saying that, uh, I think it was Caitlin DeWolf when she came down, hit the net. Just going to have a quick player change.
That was a good shot. Put it right in the back of the court there. Casting players thought it was going to go out and land it right on the line. Argus trying to make a comeback here. Hi, Phil. Did you come back? <laughs> I came back. You missed I've missed an awesome game. You missed a I've been very watching. Good game. I've been watching. They're doing awesome. They they have they have played a really good game. They were actually up by eight at one time. Wow. Uh, it all started with Samantha Rose's uh, uh, serves. Um, and I was watching. I was catching up with an old friend. Argus went back and forth uh, between Argus and Cass. I think each team put about three each straight into the net. And I made the comment about, the, you know, probably coaches are probably going to have some serving practice tomorrow. Maybe. And uh, that's when uh, Samantha came up, and next thing you know, she's putting them over, and Argus started walking away. But they just end up losing, was it 21 to 25? 22 to 25. 22 to 25. That's great. That was fun to watch. I was watching. I had, I had, to, <laughs> I had to take my headset off real quick and ask, because uh, uh, Argus should have got the point, but then um, – I was informed it was because of one of the Argus players after she hit it or something, touched the net. Oh, okay. If you hmm. want to do a few commercial breaks here, we still have a couple We've minutes. Got a couple left. minutes? All right. Well, then we will have a commercial and we'll be right back. First Federal Savings Bank has offered mortgage loans for over 50 years. Now we're also offering commercial lending. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer loans for commercial real estate, equipment, and business lines of credit. Call any one of our branch locations to see if we can help. You're not just a number at First Federal Savings Bank, you're part of our family. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in need of trash removal at an exceptional price? Let Mike's Trash Removal Service be your go-to for all your trash removal needs. Mike's Trash Removal covers several different services of waste removal, including residential and commercial area services. Locally owned and locally operated, call today to see what Mike's Trash Removal can do for you at 574-223-6429. And we're back. We've got about a minute left before the next match starts. Lady Comets are leading the Lady Dragons. Two sets to zero.
Welcome back, Phil. Thanks. Probably won't do that again tonight. That way I don't have to walk up those steps again. <laughs> oh, I hear you. After our little trek out to the get that cord. <laughs> well, we're going into the third. I don't know if Is they're it? called games okay, or so matches. Okay, so I said that. I said that the comments were leading the set, game, set, match. Game, set, match. I don't know. Oh. oh, I thought for a second there, I thought it was too far, but great. Tried to dig that one out. Just come up a little short there. Hard, hard oh. spike there. Okay. Did you figure it out? I d no, Google did. Oh, okay. If this is accurate, hopefully it is. The new terms in volleyball are a set is 25 points, so it's two sets to zero. Yes. And then a match takes two to three sets to, or it takes two to three sets to win a match. Okay. Okay. So a match is what we would consider the game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, there's three to five games. <laughs> <laughs> oh to me, my. there's three to five games a night, but. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I yawned. I didn't know if it set off a chain reaction. Oh, good job. Now, uh, when you did the call out for the, uh, for the club, were any, were any of the girls uh, volleyball players by chance? There was one junior high volleyball player. Was there really? Mm-hmm. Okay. She may have to start talking. Yes. <laughs> I know. Maybe we'll bring her out next week. She can actually tell us what's going on. <laughs> she was one that said, I'd like to talk. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Like we had Abby Williamson come back into the game for, or the set. How do you, <laughs> for casting? Yes, while you were gone, uh, I didn't have that, the luxury of the list. So I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, cast has got some players coming in. <laughs> or Argus has got some players coming in, unless I knew them. Like I said, I only know, if, uh, what, three or four of them. I thought it tipped. Well, I off. thought it tipped off her hand. I did. Okay, I did too. I didn't do it. And we got we got earmuffs on. We could have done instant replay on that. Sneaky little move there. Caught her while she was trying to run back and get in position. Caught the setter napping. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, she did. Well, mm, she did. I'm not saying anything about Casson. We caught her Just napping. Just a play back to a Vinnie Stone soccer kick where he caught the keeper napping. Yeah! Now, I'm not 100% sure if. if Sierra actually blocked that, or if it hit the top of the net, didn't I come all the way over. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, nice. nice. That That's was nice. Yes. And with that, we now have a tie. We have a tie. We could have almost instant replayed that one. We should have done that. You still can. It goes back it 12 seconds. 
Oh, right we, there, just we just caught, caught it. the end of it. We just caught it. <laughs> All right. We missed the next point, but hey. Kind of need that to was have all right. Cass has scored that point. <laughs> the nice thing is, is that Steve might be able to take that then and, and put it in his little weekend. Yeah. His little weekend montage of. Uh, we do some instant replays, and it, it makes some little little video bites that he can manipulate to, or we might be able to use later as with our kids as we start to. Yep. I know he's, I, and I'm not 100% sure if he's done it yet this year, but I know that last year he's done it several times, especially with basketball, um, taking the instant replays and then put like a five minute, five minute uh, little show on with all the points scored. Um, right. On uh, Facebook. Leading up to this or that or. Let's see, Sierra's a senior. Katie Hoffman's a senior. Dragons also may be kind of, let's see. If you're out there watching this and you have other people that would mm -hmm. uh, like to watch the games that aren't in the area, uh, what is it? Uh, we're broadcasting RTC4.com, look for the Argus TV channel. So RTC4.com, look for the Argus TV channel. There's a button and you'll see the dragon head and... And they can go on there to watch it live. They then. can. And if you go to RTC4.com, you can also see some archives of some past year's games. I think it had, two th <laughs> was it 2012 to 2018? Something crazy like that. And then last year's 2019. I got online and watched some, uh, one of the soccer players wanted to see a Bethany Christian game from last year, and they were able to do that on there. Good. Now, are we also broadcasting on the IHSAA? Yes. Uh, Where do you go for that? I don't know. IHSAA. Is it dot .com or dot .org? Org. And go to the Argus channel on that one as well. Yeah, I don't know how all that works. I don't get paid to know how all that works. <laughs> oh, wait, we don't get paid anyway. <laughs> we are here strictly because we like the kids. And we like to make sure that bring this action out to people. It comes in very handy during the wintertime. We like sports, maybe? <laughs> well, that is true, too. I don't know. Andy wants me to keep book for basketball, so. Even though even though during the, uh, uh, well, now, uh, my kids have been out long enough that I know hardly anybody. <laughs> and you coach. And I coach. Well. And I still hardly know any, any of the girls or boys. Argus is hanging in there. Nice recovery there. Oh. It's hard to do from that back row. It is. And the angle that she did mm -hmm. it from the front row to try to put it straight up, she yeah. actually went a little too far and put her back in the back row. Nice. This is where it all started last Steve game. Steve said RTC4.com is all they need to know is the Argus link. All right. Um, and I'll get you where you need to go. Oh, also, we forgot, uh, Valsit Cirrus 
is now writing blogs, and you can catch those on the RTC4.com page as well. He's still going around. He's <laughs> just a plethora of information and knowledge about our different schools and different athletes. It's kind of funny, you guys, you know, just like the last week you guys were broadcasting the uh, soccer game, and uh, he'd, he'd hear you say something, and next thing you know, he'd give you all the information <laughs> needed for it. But, you know, the last time they met, they did it, or, you know, in all their meetings, so-and-so, yeah. It was also nice, too, we were playing Rochester, and he was able to tell us that they'd ran across country that day, and they did this and that, and, and get that information out there as well, so thanks to Val for that. But yeah, if you want to check out his blog, rtc4.com. And he's not limited to any kind of pages or anything, so you're getting full on Val. <laughs> Whatever he wants to talk about, he's going to. That must mean that Steve's listening. Yeah, hi, Steve. That one there looked like she was about ready to wind that one up and put it through the back wall. Yeah. Dragon's still hanging on. It's like McKenna Limeberry. <laughs> Two games and I got her number down. <laughs> Caitlin DeWolf coming back in. I always cringe when they start running at a full bore. Oh, yeah, at the bleachers. Basketball, volleyball, I cringe when they're running the full bore that way, looking like they're going to dive and go head first into the bleachers. I fell on the bleachers one time in basketball. Yeah, it didn't feel good. <laughs> no. Caitlin does a really good job when she serves of getting the ball really deep. I almost kind of look at it and go, is that going to go out? But it's obviously too close to call or they... Oh, good push idea. It over. <laughs> oh, Steve, you're just impressed I'm actually talking tonight. <laughs> okay, thirteen to fifteen. Dragon serve. We've got senior Katie Hoffman coming up. Trying to get it just over the net and just falls a little short. Is Andy enjoying his night off tonight? I think so. I'm sure. I haven't seen him. I haven't been home yet. This happened last game. Back and forth serve straight into the mm -hmm. net. Just moving that scoreboard up. Oh, well, that would have probably gone out, but oh. It's one of those reflex plays where it would have probably gone out. Mm hmm That one there hit the net, but hit the top of the net on the outside.
<laughs> the, uh, I'm watching the, I don't know what they're called, the, the people in the corners, line, line judges girls, or line whatever. Judges. Um, and you can tell when it's close to that line because she's hesitant on what she's going to call. <laughs> that one, she pretty... It, you know, I think it's a, probably a thinking about thing. Hold it. Which one is in, out? Okay. Yep. Because <laughs> you don't want to put one down, then change it. Because that that doesn't make people happy. A little miscommunication there. There's been quite a bit of that. Twenty-three to fifteen. Argus is taking a timeout. What are those things called that they're that they're wearing? That Ga they pull gators. Up? That they pull up over their mat, their face. Their gator masks. I know the one just went and put it up as a as a headband. Uh, headband. <laughs> Andy's got one like that. I had kids asking me for a mask when I as I was coming in. <laughs> Do you have a mask? I'm like, on my face. <laughs> How did you lose your mask from after school to now? I think she was trying a different technique on yeah. getting it up and it put it straight down to the ground. Might have been a little harder than she thought, maybe. Comet's finding their groove here. Oh. Nice dig. Mm-hmm. You know, that one narrowed have gone long. Nice job. And this is able to pull it off. Great volley. Hey, at least there's no bees out here, or up here. Oh, that is true. As compared to being outside. We, not, not that we're outside, we're not. No sun beaming us in the face so you yeah. can't see. Jacob's outside or whoever's on the camera's outside. <laughs> or like the other day, we're in a typhoon. <laughs> yeah. I think there was one game last year. And that's it, right there. That is it. That's Castle the is taking it in three. You started a story. Don't leave it. Oh, I'm sorry. It was like last year. We were, I was in here for a uh, volleyball game, and it was pouring down rain. And I was in here for a volleyball game, and you guys were outside for a soccer game. We, we did that a couple times last year. And yeah. And I was I was enjoying it because Zach and I were nice and dry, and I don't remember who it on the camera. It wasn't me. It was I probably was Peyton. Probably. Probably. Because I don't remember Jacob getting wet last year. All right. Well, the Comets have beaten the Dragons in three sets to zero. Three sets to zero. Yep. And won the match. And uh, yeah.
great play by both teams tonight. It was fun to come and watch them. I haven't seen volleyball. This is only the second game I've been to in 30 years. So I <laughs> um, thought they did a really nice job. So, But yeah. we will be back next, next week for senior night. On the 1st, and we'll be back out for boys soccer Saturday afternoon at 1230, and then we'll catch their senior night next week as well. Yes, so if there is anybody there that uh, you know of that isn't able to make the games or grandparents or anything that is wanting to watch, uh, just have them go to RTC4. RTC4.com and click on the Argus On the Argus TV channel, button. and yep. they will be able to uh, see all the games. For uh, Phil Dean and Amy Stone, we hope everybody has a good rest of the night. Thank you for Steve Stricker for being our tech guy. He's probably and getting sitting, us in set his, up. Yeah. sitting in his recliner right now relaxing. Or he's out and about. Who knows? That, that could be too. So. And uh, everybody have a good night, and we will see you later. Have a good evening.